Well, good day and good evening to you, wonderful, special Synergy Organics community. Thank you for being back with here on our Thursday evening sits. As you're watching this video, one of us is busy talking on the October Health app. We will leave a link down below to that so that you can go and check that out as well. And this will relay back to this video and multiple videos that we have been doing just here for you. So if you want the awesomeness of the health and wellness that you deserve for yourself and your families, well, let's get right to it. Etan, how are you doing there, my brother bear? Oh, absolutely incredible. So excited for this specific topic. We can ramp on about this in so many different ways. But today's topic, Yara, is controlling your urges, right? And that has a lot to do with a lot of different things. So let's get right into it. Us and our community, welcome to the session. So it's insane. This is our community. This is where we publish content for you on the weekly, or as we like to say, on the strongly for you, not weak, because you are not weak. You are strong. Etan, show us that, that slim fit shirt there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they got, they got a view of it earlier. Okay, good. So as you can all see here, we are giving you super awesome content that is relating to you and your health. Now, make sure to come over to our channel, hit the subscription bell, and let's delve right into this video today. So Etan, of course, we are talking about controlling your urges. Could you describe what that actually means to the public, please? Okay, fantastic. Thanks so much for that. Um, it's all the way from the basic, all the way through to the extremities. So there really is a broad range that we're going to be talking today. But of course, generalizing around health and wellness, of course. Um, but even drawing in investment into that, because I'm going to talk about that with uh, with an urge. You know, this is a community that, um, you know, health and wellness is what it's about. And um, we can't be well if we're not treating ourselves well, uh, physically, emotionally, financially, um, family-wise, all the rest, friends-wise, all the rest. So it, it's a broad range is what I'm saying. But um, yeah, talking about a lot of different topics, um, we're going to be getting into fasting. So stay tuned, uh, community, because there's a, um, um, a couple of different things I'm going to be bringing up. Kiara's got his own intervention happening there. Um, but all the way from that to no fapping, uh, to sexual indulgences, all the way down to uh, cheeky little chocolates uh, that we call treats. Uh, but they are far from that. Eh? So, yeah, with the beat, <laughs> let's uh, yeah meet the presence of our Synergy website here. Kiara's running us through. And... Um, you know, just to go through it, Synergy offers a wide variety of different uh, superfoods, organic nutrition, plant-based proteins, uh, various topics, gut healing, um, muscle recovery, etc. So these are powdered shakes and they really produce um, um, lean energy efficiency within the body. That's as simple as I can put it. And it just helps us become superhuman in our energy and in our um, demeanor. Um, and it cleanses our body of all the toxins and um, heavy metals and minerals and parasites. So it goes a lot further than that, um, Kiara. And uh, look, I'm just, I'm just going to, before we get into any major topic, uh, just wrap off by saying, you, you know, it's really about um, our base chakra. And our base chakra relates to the Scorpio constellation. And that Scorpio constellation has to do with I desire. And it's all about um, this desire to want to be more and do more and see more and achieve more in this world. That kind of desire. But it's also the desire of that chocolate or um, you know, abstaining or uh, uh, from sexual indulgences. Um, those kinds of desires are very evident. And it all has to do with self-control and self-respect. So today, grateful that you and I are formally dressed. We had some cool things going on before uh, today. And um, yeah, I want to start off maybe by asking you, Kiara, you know, how can uh, our community um, control their urges for unhealthy fast food kind of things? Let's stick on to that topic for now, you know, food and um, our general consumption, including shampoos and topical stuff. How do we well, control our urges then? 
Yeah, well, I think you, you're right there in saying that, but let's let's focus in in the video on specifically controlling, say, food habits and fasting habits here, so that you know the community the community can understand. And I would say that the urge to to uh, sexual urges and uh, energetic urges as well. I would say that it's very important to understand what urges are. So let's go and have a very quick squiz at what controlling your urges actually means. So you go and you learn about your cravings. So you first discover what those cravings are. Then you figure out what the triggers for those cravings are. Let's perhaps use a very simple methodology of, per se, anxiety or stress. People sometimes go crazy and, and eat crazy amounts of food when they start to get anxious because it's somewhat a comforting mechanism and that comforting mechanism then becomes the crutch that you're holding on to to create a, 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 a pleasantness in your physical reaction of the body through chemical processes that are essentially released and if I might just simplify that for you it's as simple as as you looking at a bullseye when you're at an archery and your bow and arrow is the urge and you can choose to release the arrow and target the urge and get it or you can choose to put the arrow down and control the urge in yourself not to shoot the arrow whatever metaphorical words you want to use it is as simple as that target learn adjust control repeat for anything in your life so so very simply etan i would like to say that at the end of the day mastering self-control will essentially enable you one to master their life and that's why you guys follow us during the community processes of us sharing this knowledge with you this knowledge, yes, may be very well known, but this knowledge is, is, is limited in its resourcefulness. In other words, there's not so many people in the world that actually know this kind of information. And this is why we've made this channel to help you become a more improved self version of who you are. And by doing that, that means taking care of number one, exercise exercise is the key to controlling self-urge because very simply put if you can in your exercise push your boundaries a little further every single time you will become the best version of yourself because you're breaking a small barrier within your own self leading to better and more improved self-recognition and therefore self-control so etan you're about to go on what may seem to others as an extreme process however for others and very few others like yourself myself and others what you're about to embark on is very beautiful and very therapeutical and extraordinarily healing. Please describe to our community what this process is and how it helps you control specific urges. Oh, fantastic. Um, and you know, stay put community, because no matter if you're watching this video three years after it's released, the information is still gonna be relevant. <laughs> You know, so, you know, welcome and grateful for taking the time once again. And uh, before I get on into that extreme story, um, Kiara is actually mentioning a 30 day fast that I'm about to embark on. And I'm just going to, at a later point, run you through how I'm going to do that. But for now, I just want to give you a bit of background on that fasting elemental thing. But there's a process here that I want to unfold, Kiara. Like there is this fasting thing, and I'm going to talk about this dynamic here. But also just looping the food here, um, because a lot of it has, has, has a lot to do with self-control. And yes, fasting has everything to do with that. So I'm going to um, expand on what Kiara said, exercise being the number one. I'm going to slip in a sneaky first by saying to you, basic breath work, which actually leads to meditation, 
helps create blood flow and oxygen flow and the pineal gland activation and the brain chemistry and all that run through the system. So basic breath work is really that. When you exercise, you're breath working, <laughs> you know, and doing your workouts, right? Of course. So it's that combination which really assists. That's why exercise is meditative, <laughs> you know? Um, so we'll, we'll leave that topic there. But in terms of the fasting, um, the backstory there, been fasting for several years now you know over six um done intermittent fasting done three-day fasting done 10 day fasting which has actually been my most really enjoyed that whole experience getting through um the the indulgences and the cravings and the way that my body was actually responding to those fasts um in other words our body is a piping system and during that time early stages I had to actually flush that piping system out in order for um, the new version of my body uh, to build on itself. Um, our community, uh, you've been following our videos, we say it all the time, our body is like akin to soil where we're actually building the soil and the soil feeds the plants and the nourishment. So the plants, metaphorically speaking, is our brain and nervous system and everything else from there. Um, our chakras are just nerve concentration points on our spinal column, which is known as Jacob's Ladder. So for several years now, we fasted in various different ways. Kiara's joined me on them. We've had group fasts and we've shared with the community. So if you're interested in um, getting those tips, please just reach out to us. I fast, uh, particularly when the moon moves into Capricorn. Because I'm a Capricorn, there's a psychophysical germ that gets stimulated and I'm my cerebral cortex, um, that she okay, runs down the body, touches the, well, down the brain, touches the pineal gland, then the pituitary gland, runs down the vagus nerve, then heads towards the nerve ganglion in our stomach, which is known as Bethlehem in a sense. And through breath work and exercise and meditative practices, we draw that oil and, and consciousness, what it is, because we're all consciousness, everything is, back up into the skull, into the head. And yeah, really creates um, this refreshing of blood cells that happen within the body and the bloodstream. And that is remarkable for recovery. Um, it uh, can really relieve a lot of your cancer issues, a lot of your detoxification and parasitic I issues. Even if you're just doing an intermittent fast, it could release a lot of uh, drawback and toxins and what have you so i've been doing this once a month for several years but um more importantly it's very important to note that doing a fast you have to be at your own level you have to know your extremities and any any sort of fast even an intermittent one is one for the goals so i'm gonna loop on into that section of the fasting now where we incorporate not only dry fasting, which is the most extreme, uh, which needs medical <laughs> standby teams, you know, if you're doing it extreme, um, but to a basic water fast, which is really also about fl uh, flushing and cleansing, all the way through to uh, tea fast, you know. So really I'll touch on that because um, water fast is basic, dry fast is basic um, for any extended period of time that you want. Tea fast is quite intimate in the sense that we can brew a lot of different things. And by tea, I'm saying more liquid fasting. Yes, exactly. More liquid fasting. So let's generally categorize it, categorize it as that. But the teas are specifically medicinal. And that's what we're targeting here. We're wanting to flush the system out, replenish it with new minerals, and to be able to build on that soil. Build, 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 build on that soil. That's what our motto is. We love it. You know, really, Kiara, it's, it's fantastic how we've seen it over the years. Um, cleanse ourselves in many different ways. So teas like dandelion, St. John's wort. Um, uh, we, we could do stinging nettle, dandelion root, herb, and seed. Um, but also the flower. The flower is particularly good for the heart, which is circulatory. It's um, that's consciousness right there in the heart, because that's the the actual home place of our soul. Whereas the seat of the soul is the pineal gland. It's where it gets to observe and orchestrate. You know what I'm saying? So there's this divine connection between heart and mind. We know, but also the three, the Trinity, the the solar plexus the heart and the mind okay because that's a very key thing so kiara is showing us um our videos on youtube 
even if you did a three day moringa fast as an example or an acai fast where you're just doing the combination of the two even you know you say okay i just want to experiment with that and flush the system out with that so that liquid fast really takes it um, takes its root i'll give you my special formula here right now this is a bonus for our community for staying on board thanks for listening in we recognize that there's a lot of different ways to do it but a special tonic that i made my last fast was incredible and i shared it with the people my 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 colleagues that i work with in a in a corporate environment space <laughs> there was just this buzz of energy after and i felt this vibration and it was just um, euphoric so without further ado i took some cayenne pepper is definitely um, blood cleansing circulatory um it's remarkable the parasite cleansing so much more things but cayenne pepper but a turmeric a tiny bit of himalayan salt definitely some honey you know um uh, then i went on to see buckthorn powder then baobab powder i took one spoonful of the two of the well of each of those mm, it was so delicious and then blue butterfly pea as the top measure this is a heavy antioxidative um product it's really fantastic and yes as kia was saying it is mind blowing that concoction but really this is a super tonic that you could drink throughout the course of the day liquid fasting wise and not be glad about it oh okay i'm not doing a water fast so i'm not fasting so i swear going to lot you kia and um you know just going to loop uh, end off by saying to um our community um enjoy that recipe let us know how it goes when you try those exact ingredients um and your own mixing concoctions uh, taste taste per everybody um but yeah for the most part uh, i must say to you you can even do a smoothie fast where as a minimum like one smoothie a day kind of thing and as a maximum like three smoothies a day this is a liquid fast it's blended down it's less intense on the gut but it's helping the body's digestive system and cleanse the colon etc because remember the lining of the colon and our piping system there's this mucus and toxins and things and dead cells that it needs to remove from that piping system so yeah i mean so many different superfoods kyo that we can um, advise our community on um mixing into that but for the most part that's where I was leading the conversation i want to know um and we'll get back to my 30 day fast in a couple but that summarizes it i want to know from you kyora you know your experience with um abstaining um in the food um i know you in the past um like when you've overeaten as a form of abstinence you know like your stomach's really hurt and what have you so how have you controlled your ability to um indulge in your urgences or not indulge in your urgences mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's a good one etan well here's a video and for those who actually didn't watch it we were showing you in this video how you can indulge in weight loss with delicious raw cacao so this one one example of just how you can treat your body with the absolute utmost respect and the best way to do that is to give it a bit of a break from solid foods and for those in the community that aren't really you know that don't really do fasting as much uh, which is okay you can you will build up to whatever it is that you feel comfortable doing and that's why you come over to our channel and you get this content when you watch our videos because that's the only way that you're essentially going to learn about these things unless you go and research it yourself so chill get yourself a smoothie and come and hang out with us because a smoothie is the lightest possible food that you can have and you're going to say oh well juice is and then I'm going to say well juice is very high sugar because you've removed the fiber and this is as as good as juicing is you need to realize that juicing should be done in a very correct manner and you should also be able to water your juice down however etan will very much tell you that if you continue to do the juice and then the liquid and then add more and it, the more you add inside your mouth if you go into your stomach the less blood you have to help your brain function and your brain you and your brain function properly and your other organs function properly because your blood is then focusing in your gut to try and help your gut 
digest, uh, pull the minerals, use the minerals for the body. So you've got a choice in the matter and the best choice for yourself to make is the choice of being able to choose to live your best possible life. So your urges to go out and get snacks and treats can be controlled by recognizing what's causing that. And this, I would say to you, a very simple rule. I do intermittent fasting on the daily, and Etan does too, to different degrees based on the individual. My personal example is I won't eat anything beyond kind of sunset, and if I am eating something, it's going to be, it's only going to be a little indulgent chocolate. That's it. You've seen us do that on the videos. I'm not going to have anything else unless I feel as though I need to somehow replenish nourishment. And the only thing I would do every now and then, not every night and not often, is a small handful of macadamia nuts because that will replenish energy by giving you the healthy fat so that your body can use that fat as a store of energy to continue to give you energy. And this is where... When you treat yourself in the fasting manner correctly and you do it correctly and you give your body the interval, uh, it's on because uh, smoothies can break fasts. However, yes. it's the concept of eating lighter that we are both referring to in this particular content to our beautiful community. What Etan is doing is, is backed by knowledge and it's backed by case studies, and it's backed by experience. So if you haven't got any of those, then don't dabble in that space. Ask us questions down in the comments below, and we will help you. We will assist you along your journey. But for now, of course, Etan, I think this is part of one of the main reasons why we decided to do this video, because controlling your urges, we've spoke, we've covered controlling your food urges we've control we've covered a number of other um, urges that you may have however the one most important urge that we need to learn to to cover in ourselves is the desire for is the desire for controlling your sexual urges and we're going to discuss that or i'm going to let etan discuss that with you because there is a fundamental reason. So Etan, please keep it light with the audience on this one and try to target the key points here for the community on this and just let them know why controlling your sexual urges is more important than controlling any of the other urges. Fantastic. I'm going to keep it light, but also truthful and honest. When a man releases uh, their semen, they, they're releasing their brain fluid Literally, it's known as the little death. So uh, the little death, it's, uh, that's about as extreme as I'm going to say it. Um, yeah, just the reality is if we go and squander that on a daily basis, you can imagine how um, diminished and depleted our energy um, is and will be. So, so that for one is one thing. And then from a female's perspective, it's receiving that. But also, um, can you imagine how, what, how taxing it is on a body to create another human being so that's their not not curse but that's their their their, their side of it is that they're being depleted in that energetic kind of way even if it's if it doesn't cause a pregnancy so anyway um there's various different ways to do this and we've talked about it do the exercise keep yourself from being distracted and, and know that you've got to um, delete yourself and restrict yourself. And actually, one of the most important things is having an accountability partner. Because the second you do that by saying, hey, I don't want to watch porn, Kiara. Like, can you be my accountability partner? You know, can we go through this journey? I want to do three months and see from there. Um, the amount of energy surge that you would you would get increased. And the, the, the vigor, the confidence, the establishment of your body and your soul and your mind and your emotions is going to be a lot more um uh, formed and solidified because you haven't broken it with this release of your brain fluid continuously into your bed sheets and into a tissue and stuff excuse the the um uh, stuff but that's the reality of it you know and and we've got to we've got to face the reality um it is an addiction people don't even see food as an addiction 
And yes, another topic's um, not really there, but we can be addicted on many different levels. So that's why, why we're saying control your urges is our topic for today. And uh, yeah, the sexual part of it is very much there. That psychophysical germ I mentioned earlier when the moon's in Capricorn. So there's a full moon in Capricorn this weekend. Okay, and I know this and I need to keep as calm, as level-headed and, and not squander that, basic, that sacred seed inside of me this weekend or any of you um, as a Capricorn this weekend. Tell us, tell the community why it's, it's referred to as the little death and what that causes in the body. Okay, so our cerebral spinal fluid um, is is the release. That's literally what you're releasing. Um, yeah, and that's your brain fluid. So it's like it's like taking the oil out of a car. It's obviously gonna rust up and and obviously be cranky and not operate efficiently. So that's technically what it is. Um, but like I was saying, with that whole process of the moon, it's 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 generating new blood cells. The body doesn't normally generate new blood cells. So if you squander that period over there where you're over aggressive, over sexual, sexual indulgence, over fooding, all of that stuff, then then it really is a thing um, that you that you're diminishing your body's energy. You can stay youthful by not releasing that because you age quicker, aka the little death, if you're releasing constantly. It is what it is. So keeping that sacred fluid inside of you is of importance. So, okay. So in short, because it's the cerebral spinal fluid, which assists in a number of different processes in the body, which we're not going to touch base on in this video today. However, when you're depleting your goods, okay, you are releasing your absolute golden, most important nutrients in your body. And if you're depleting your nutrients, you're therefore malnourished. And the simple of it is, is that the more you do it over a long period of time, the more malnourished you become. It, uh, nutrients then only become a supportive mechanism for your, your well-being. But if you maintain control over your, your urges to overeat, overindulge in movies and sex and all kinds of things okay you will find that your energy is more self-restored so etan share some last few very important words for the community on summarizing the the potentials for people to engage in helping themselves on sexual urges i mean on uh, urges excuse me yeah, on urges, yeah, perfect question. Um, keep yourself distracted. Again, have an accountability partner. Um, you, yeah, set your, your calendar up. Usually those kinds of things come the, the creeping in through boredom. So boredom's a state of mind. It's a state of consciousness. If we're constantly wanting to learn and grow and uh, and expand and whatever you, then we're far from bored. We're having a fun life. So it's actually about your mindset and that mindset needs to be strong. So changing the mindset is the only solution. There's no other solution. Because I can tell you, I know how to fast. I know how to do all of this stuff. I know how to be best Formula One driver in the world. But actioning it is a very different story. Like I can tell you, I know everything about Formula One or whatever it is, you know, MotoGP. But I haven't been on a bike myself, so I can't prove it in a sense. So you really need to walk the path, in other words. So enjoy that path. And I want to loop, you know, I want to, you know, whatever that is, please comment below community. I want to hear what your urges are, um, what you've been indulging in. And again, this video you're watching three years later down the line, please still comment. We want to know. We want to, we're appreciative of uh, the feedback and, you know, just to see where people's mindsets are and what the general perspective is around them. Now, leading on into, um, you know, my, my final stuff as well around the 30 day fast, you know, I, I covered a bit in topic and Chiara brought up the juicing. I wanted to say around the juicing, that's a perfect thing. So basically the 30 days is split up into four weeks, seven days, you know, and then plus the two on top of them. So, you know, week one's really about, um, well, prior to that is preparation, right? Cutting down on your food even more, having, uh, you know, one or two days we don't have a fast and then come back on to food again. Um, 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 but yeah, week one is 
definitely going to be like just liquid fast teas, building, nourishing, cleansing, um, colon cleansing and all the rest and really flushing the gut out and parasites out and whatever. So the body's reset in week one. Week two is um, potentially then going to be that water fast mixed with one or two dry fast days. Now that's demineralized water. Um, that's also um, our reverse osmosis water. You know, you really want clean uh, as clean water as possible. Um, so mineralized water is also very cool. Um, and things like MMS as well, Miracle Mineral Solution, just plain in your water, flush out a lot of stuff, but it is that cerebral fluid. The... Um, um, uh, the tissue salt, uh, sodium chloride and hydrochloric acid. So then week three, you know, it's a potential of going back onto the tea, but also actually introducing the evening things like uh, soups, liquid part of the soup. So you're getting your, your cooked meals and, and the, um, um, uh, the brew from it, but really it's just the liquid part of it. So that's going to be an interesting week for me because it's new. And I actually just want to see how the body responds and how it flushes out from there. You know, that includes the cayenne pepper and the turmeric and the ginger. So it's really a tea, but in a food form, you know what I'm saying? So that's going to be quite interesting. And then fourth week, obviously, um, head back to the water fasting. Um, and of course, leading up to the end of it, move on into building back into um, eating habits because that's what it is. It's actually um, a big... Yes, with fruits, light things, Kiara said, you could break your fast with a smoothie. I agree. Um, that is certainly the way to do it. This is our blender here. So, yeah. Thank you, community, for your love, your kindness, and your energy and effort. Take it. Contact us, Kiara. Thank you for your time. We love and appreciate you all, man. Definitely. Thank you to the special community. We love you. We will see you on the next one, you beautiful souls. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And of course, share this with as many of your friends and family that you would like to help control their urges. Thanks, Etan. Truly appreciate you being here once again. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, community. Blessings. Bye. Bye.